Though I've written many biblical studies about the end time and Christ's return, this is why I only recommend the Bible. Love is the answer. If I have the gift of prophecy, understand the mysteries of the kingdom, and if I have faith to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all my possessions to the poor and give my body to hardship, that I may boast, but I do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is the answer. I, Yehovah, your God, show love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. God showed love he gave his one and only son so that whoever believes in him would not perish but have eternal life. If you love me, keep my commands. Christ made his sacrifice, not so his people could forget, ignore, and violate his commandments, but because they could not keep them perfectly, and they needed a Savior. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. If anyone obeys the Lord's commands, the love for God is made complete. This is how we know we are in Christ. This is the love for God, to keep his commands, and his commands are not burdensome. Why don't Christians love the Lord? Is it unbelief, or is it disobedience? God's promise to those who love him. God says, because you love me, I will rescue you. I will protect you, for you acknowledge my name, Yehovah. You will call on me, and I will answer you. I will be with you in tribulation. I will save you and honor you with long life. I will satisfy you and show you my salvation. I only recommend the Bible. When people read books by men about the Bible, they find out what men think. But when people read the Bible with the Holy Spirit, they find out what God says. Who cares what men think? All God's words are true. All God's laws are eternal. Psalm 119, 160. The Bible is spiritual, the word of truth. Every word of the Old and New Testaments is eternally true. All God's words are true. All his laws are eternal. Scripture is the best way for Christians to hear from God about himself and about his purpose for their lives. He who belongs to God hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. I only recommend the Bible. The time of the end began on 9-11 in 2001. According to Daniel 12, end time prophecy couldn't be completely understood until the words of the scroll, Revelation 6, were opened. Since 9-11, the words of the scroll have been opened and a comprehensive study of the time of the end has been done and written in these books by Richard H. Perry. However, the only book I recommend is the Bible. End Time Bible Studies for Pastors After 9-11, 75% of Americans went to church to understand what the Bible was saying. When Christ opens the second seal, Iran will start World War III, waking up all Christians to end time prophecy. When all Christians wake up to the end time, will pastors be able to teach? These comprehensive Bible studies on the time of the end and Christ's return may help, but I only recommend the Bible. Though I've written many biblical studies about the end time and Christ's return, this is why I only recommend the Bible.